Hello. Oh, I see nothing. So I have five minutes, and uh, just uh, as a like, little way to digest, I'm going to make uh, talk a little bit about Cloud API and have a little fun with this. So what's the context of this fun? It's a context of the product we developed, Neforider, which is basically a product doing uh, visualization of cloud infrastructure. So it's a kind of way like to have a nice diagram like in school in one click. And uh, it's very convenient for your manager. Uh, and in this diagram, what do we have? We have the hardware, so load balancer, instance, volume, and a little bit of network information. And uh, the main question that I want to talk about is about how many queries do we need to fill up this diagram? So here you see, this is exactly what we present. One clean you get this is sample on Amazon uh, services. So let's start with the biggest provider, which is Amazon AWS. So Amazon AWS, you have no authentication phase. You do directly your, credits, your queries once you have your credentials. And the principle is like you post an action, you receive back your XML. And usually, that's nice, good stuff. It's just like when you make an action, you receive everything. Just like describe me all instance. You get all the information you want. You don't need to ask a lot do a lot more query to ask more. Some question requires additional question queries. So for example, uh, if you, have, you want to know, describe this image that has served to, to boot an instance, you need to make an additional call. And you have eight regions. So final stuff, we have eight describe instance, describe old balancer, describe volume, and describe DB instance for the RDS SQL. And so that's 42 requests, and you have a variable with, uh, to get the elastic IP address, if an IP address is elastic, and to get the image for an instance. So usually for a 40 to 50 um, elements infrastructure, it's like 42 to 50 queries. Okay, next one is about OpenStack Rackspace, because I've heard a lot about this. OpenStack has got a lot of traction, so I tried to do this and support it later. So you have first these all pre-authentifications, phase where you need to receive a token to do your further queries. And something that we have to notice, unfortunately, with this API is just like sometimes when you do a query, you need to make additional to get more information. Uh, for example, I mean, if you get the query for load balancer, if you want to know which instance are connected to a load balancer, you need to make a query on the load balancer itself. You cannot get it globally with just like git me slash all load balancers. And you have five regions. Something else also is just like the logic between what is connected to what, sorry, uh, is not the same as in AWS. So for example, the volume has an attachment and the instance has no attachment by itself. It's not returned in the main high-level queries. So what do we have? Fixed, we have a token. Then we have five region. Give me volume details, server details, instance for the DB and load balancer. That's 20, uh, 20 requests plus one. And then you have a variable. So basically, it goes to 30. OK. So that's better, but in fact, if we want to compare ratio per regions, it's really not as good as AWS. So the last one, I decided to try it, give it a try yesterday afternoon, it's the GCE, Google Compute Engine. So also you have a little dance for OAuth authorization, then you get your token with limited time. And then, I mean, I started to dig into the API and I realized there was this project organization and basically you have project, project ID slash regions, and it tells you what is there. So here you ask and you say, okay, on CPUs I've got usage one, I mean I have one instance in this region. That's pretty cool. And even better, there are aggregated calls, which basically give you everything in one call. And that's something good. And finally, they made something even better. They have an API with fields. So you can ask what you want to have returned as information for a given type of object. And inside an API, I mean, if you, have, you ask for an instance, I mean, you have a link to the volume which are connected to the instance. A little bit of vocabulary stuff to get used to. Load balancing is named forwarding root and target pool because basically you have the rule forwarding from load balancer to the instance and the pool which is connected. So in the end, what do we have? Well, we have six to eight queries, depending, I didn't talk about image and IP which I didn't have explored uh, yesterday. Okay, so that's really better. So as a conclusion of this small talk, well, the surprise came really from Google Compute Engine because basically it's more next generation stuff. I didn't plan to do it, so my conclusion is to say to AWS, OpenStack, and all the other, please beef up your stuff and provide similar capabilities. Thank you.